Um, I've got to start by saying I'm against amnesty. I believe our parents taught us there are consequences to our actions and we should not give up that culture for someone who has broken our laws. Now I realize there's a real problem in the area with migrant workers and the need for them. Uh, I've been to the Christmas tree farms, I've been to the, the apple farms and listened to them talk and they cannot get good help, they believe, without the migrant workers. And I agree, we need migrant workers, but we need to do it through the program, through the process. There are programs to bring guest workers here. The problem is the process is not working. We can't put the two together because we have not had good representation in Washington to make sure that happens. Too often, people get into it and they game the system for, some, for their own benefit. So that needs to be done. Amnesty. Immigrants, uh, open border immigration is costing our country $240 million billion in suppressed wages. Now they say these uh, illegal immigrants benefit our economy by $10 billion, but they cost us $100 billion in health care, education, and in law enforcement. The ones that really suffer from open immigration are, are the youth, the ones with a high school diploma. 40% unemployed between the ages of 18 and 29. 43% of the Hispanics are unemployed and 50% of the young blacks are unemployed because of illegal immigration labor here. Those are the ones that are suffering. I could talk about this for 20 minutes, but my time's up, thank you. Do I get points if I just say ditto and point to advance that? <laughs> Um, illegal immigration illegal immigration is bad. Anything illegal is bad, and that's why they have the word illegal in front of it. Um, what we've lost sight of is this country was built on the fact that it was a melting pot. You came into the country legally, you could speak any language you wanted at home, you could have any belief structure you wanted at home, but when you were out in the general society, you conformed to be what at the time was considered being an American. Illegal immigration is an assault on the U.S. sovereignty. It's an assault on our culture, it's an assault on our way of life. It's not worth it to me to allow illegal immigration for the purpose of picking apples or, or doing Christmas trees. The, the balance isn't there. Do we need a guest worker program? Yes. I can see that very easily. Do we need a better way to monitor illegals coming into the country? Yes. Do we need to enforce the existing immigration laws that are in place? Yes. The problems that we hear about regarding illegal immigration or undocumented immigration are all the creation of a black market in labor. And, the, and anytime you have a black market where you have people trading under the table, you have problems. Doesn't matter if it's drugs, doesn't matter if it's, if it's uh, knockoff Prada purses. Um, but this, we've created this illegal market in labor where companies and agricultural, especially big agricultural companies, are hiring workers that they can get cheaper because those workers can't demand fair wages because they're not documented. So we create the problem from the outset. I think we need to have a strong guest worker program, make it easier to get a work permit, and enforce strongly against companies that try to get around that. Then those workers will pay taxes, they'll pay into the system, but then the problem's gone from that end. And I do, to answer the, the last question there, I do support the DREAM Act. We need an educated population. One of the ways that our ancestors, and a lot of you, I think most of you look European out there in, at your source, um, we came from all different countries, and we learned to be assimilated by learning the language, by getting educated here. That's what we need to do for any other immigrant group that comes to this country. Um, and I'd remind you all that when most of our ancestors arrived here, there was no such thing as, a, as an immigration system. We just got off the boat, signed a name on Ellis Island, and walked, walked off to get a job. Uh, we've, we've created the problem. And uh, another big element of it is NAFTA, which, as was mentioned before, it was a really bad deal. We dumped cheap corn on Mexico, ruined their agricultural business, and so the workers came here. Uh, last week, uh, Bart Lemke, the uh, CEO at Van Weerden, was quoted in the paper as essentially pulling his hair out over all these policies that have prevented uh, his company and others here from being able to take advantage of uh, more reasonably uh, priced labor. And the federal government um, isn't doing anything to help, even though there is a special visa for agricultural workers. You have to wait 30 years before you can get it, and by that time you can't work in the fields. So, yeah. There's a reason for all of that. It's that thread. It, uh, it's all about politics, and they come first.
because we've let politicians go to Washington that shouldn't be in Washington, and we've let them stay there because we haven't been engaged in the process. You think we can't fix the immigration problem in about five minutes if both parties agree to this? It's, it's like easy. Their only real, real, real issue with immigration, especially from Mexico, is terrorism. And since we don't have a closed border in the South, terrorists are riding the back of illegal immigrants into this country. And that ought to be enough concern for the President and others in Congress to fix this problem, but they're not. This is a, a problem, like, like many problems in the United States, where uh, the status quo isn't working. And, uh, and, and what blows my mind is it seems like everyone in America knows that, that the, the current set of policies are just broken. The system's broken. The, the way that immigration is working right now, uh, it's not working. And if we just, if we just uh, continue to not act, uh, we're going to continue to have problems that just grow and grow and grow. And uh, immigration is like this. Our, our health care system is like this. Our federal budget is like this. There, there's, there's just issue after issue after issue where Congress cannot actually roll up their sleeves and work together and come to a consensus and, and pass the reforms that are needed. Uh, if we could do this, I, I think that a, a few things need to be done. One is we've got to secure the border and make sure that, uh, that we know what's coming in uh, to our borders and, and, and leaving our country. So we've got to secure the border, number one. Number two, I think we need to bring uh, the 12 million or so illegal immigrants who are in the country today out into the open. And so as Cecil mentioned, this black market that exists, there are all these people who, uh, who are not subject to the, the labor laws and, and protections because, uh, because they're, it's, it's, it's under the table. And we need to bring them out into the open and we need to document them. I don't, I don't think that we should put them front in the line to get citizenship. I don't think we should give them amnesty, but we need to bring them out into the open and start to deal with it. And then lastly, I think we need to develop a common sense policy moving forward about how to deal with the workers that come in. I think we need to have a robust guest worker program and, uh, and, and, and look at ways to, uh, to allow people into the country in a way that's, uh, that's legal and meets the needs of our economy and the demand of, of people coming into the U.S. It's my mic working. It's my mic working. Yes, it is. Starting out. <laughs> I operated my mother's apple orchard from 1986 to 1987 while I was between jobs. And the work was done by Hispanics. I could not hire Americans, black or white, period. And I, as far as this deal about, uh, I, I would say also most of them have a Christian background. They don't have a terrorist background. The main problem we have from Mexico are drug lords, and those guys are, uh, they're thriving on an industry that, that pe supposedly respectable people here in the United States are, are supporting, <coughs> buying the drugs. Now, I, uh, as far as this deal about uh, immigrants coming to America, most of our ancestors came through Ellis Island. They didn't pass any tests. They went through Ellis Island, got a little uh, brush here and there, Many of them didn't speak English, and they went to work and became U.S. citizens. And now we're all high and mighty about the Hispanics. Did you know that the way we wound up with the Southwest United States, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, 30 seconds, holy night, Southern California, we literally stole it from Mexico. People like Austin and Houston got down on their knees and put their hands on the Bible and swore allegiance to Mexico, and then they let a revolt against them. So I, I, I have great sympathy for the Mexican workers. I think that, that uh, we need to give them a path to citizenship. Those who've come here, some have come here at peril. Many of them died trying to get across the border. So I, I support a path that leads to citizenship. I support work permits for them to withhold social security and, and give them uh, uh, that'll, that'll work two ways. So I, I support them.